Yo, what's going on, y'all? You are tuning in to another exciting episode of It's Just Mario, and I'm Mario Ramon, your host. And if you haven't noticed, the theme music is a little different tonight. Because the show that I am about to talk about, it deserves its own theme music. And the show that I am about to talk about tonight is Takara's Ultimate Merger. Now, if you are tuning in and you do not know who Takara is, Takara was the full figure model and America's Next Top Model years ago. And what did Takara tell you at Hello? Grandma said, when somebody tell you who they are, baby, you better listen. Takara always told y'all, I am fabulous. And she even spelled it out on, in front of Tyra and all the other judges. Like, she's, she's like, I am fabulous. And yes, she is. Takara is fabulous. She, uh, she looks fabulous before the transition of weight. Um, to me, I just always loved her voluptuousness. And she's just beautiful. And her beautiful cheeks and her eyes and everything. And I know she smelled good. I just want to smell her neck. You know how a newborn baby and you smell that newborn baby neck. Oh, I know you do, you own little pumpkin lamb. I know her neck smelled good. So, anyway, Takara always told y'all she was fabulous. And she has not proved anything less than fabulousness okay through her whole career she has been the spokesperson for Lane Bryant and she also does a lot of uh, VJing for television shows and things like that Takara is jamming on the one if you know what I mean do you guys remember on the Cosby show when they did jamming on the one jamming on the one a la old school now Takara's sidekick is Harvey from Celebrity, Celebrity Flip Fit Fit Club. Do you guys remember that on VH1? The Celebrity Fit Club. And um, Harvey is like the drill sergeant. And he just makes you do like 4,000 sit-ups and do 4,000 more sit-ups. And I think he's like making her do sit-ups and things in between commercial breaks because like Takara looks good, okay? And I don't think... I'm going to eat an apple for Takara. Hold up, hold up. Carl look good. We're going to take a pause for a cause. A moment of silence for fabulousness. In Takara's honor. Carla. Mm -hmm. I know she's eating apples. Takara's not eating that bacon. Remember? Mm, this apple was good. Got apples there. Hmm. Hold up. Do you guys remember? When Takara was on America's Next Top Model, and you know how the cameras go home with the models. And Takara's mom, she had this frying pan, and it had like 4,000 pieces of bacon in it. And she was just cooking it all at one time. And Takara's like, this is what we be grubbing on. Takara ain't seen it. She ain't seen it. Because you know Harvey ain't having it. Every time she said, oh Harvey, I want a piece of bacon. Drop down and give me 40! Harvey, you guys know what we're dealing with. Now, um, let's talk about the kiss between Takara and Jason. It was an intimate evening, you know. Um, one of the contestants uh, kissed Takara, and you know, it, it, it's basically a whole lot of celebrity guys or, you know, C list guys. Let's just keep it real what it is. I mean, I don't know any of them. And they say they're like boxers and football players and singers and things like that. But I don't know the guys. So C list is better than D list. Ask Kathy Griffin. Go and sit down on it. But they're like C list guys that are, you know, prevalent in the industry, but they're not tight. quite Tom Cruise and Will Smith. C list. Okay. So anyway, the contestants are trying to win Qatar, um, Takara's love. Okay, that was a tongue twister, but we made it. We made it through. Okay, so Takara is on a date with Jason, and oh my goodness, get this. They have Brian McKnight serenading them, okay? Like, can life get any better? Right. So Jason, first of all, you don't ask for a kiss. You just reach over there, and you pull her hair like a caveman, and you... Mm, you kiss her. He's like, can I have a kiss? What are they doing in that? But you know, you feel the moment. And if, if she don't want to kiss you, she, she'll she back up. But you go in for the kill. A shark don't say, can I attack you? He goes in for the kill. And if you want to live, then you beat that shark in the head. And you say, okay, so anyway. Let's get back on to the show, okay? So anyway, he gets back to the house. And the first thing he does before he even gets through the foyer, I kissed Takara. I tongue kissed her. What are they doing that at? 
You never kiss and tell, Jason. And you are bigger than the World Trade Center, and you're huge. And I know if you ever saw me on the street, you might want to say, um, I saw that video you did, and I'd be like, you did. Okay, but the bigger they are, the harder they fall. I would just wear your knees out. Down, sit down on it. So anyway, he came into the house, and he's telling all the guys he kissed Takara. And let me just say this. I hope this is not a whole nother tequila, tequila moment, or whatever her name is, tequila, tequila. I just smell pine saw when I, when I say that girl's name. And it's not a mean thing and a bad thing, but I just smell pine saw for some reason. And I don't know why I do. It's like the same reason why I see quilts and things. I smell mothballs. It's just like something. But... Please don't let it be a whole nother pine saw show, kissing everybody and kissing everybody and kissing everybody. And if you do want to kiss everybody, please don't let the cameras be on. We have Michelle Obama. We want to make her proud. We've come so far. Okay. Y'all want to sit down on it. Uh, let me see who else. Oh my goodness. I don't even really, really want to do a recap on the crazy guy. That right. Oh my goodness, He's, he, first of all, he can't complete a full sentence, and then he wants to fight everybody in the house, the cameraman, the, everybody, all the contestants, I mean, he's talking to himself, he's just, and then he's like, start to fight off, and then he hits this one guy that is bigger than a building, like he, he shoves him twice, what are they doing at it? Okay, I'm going to sit down on a crazy man. But anyway, I knew y'all ain't ready for crazy man. And the house was so happy when Takara decided to vote him off. I think they, she voted him off. And she voted off the guy in the red jacket. Can I tell you something? Now, I hear what red jacket is saying. Talking about my swag is different and all that. Other. But I totally thought something totally different about red jacket. I'm going to just keep it at that. I'm going to sit down on it. Red jacket. Okay. Oh, the way she eliminates you, it's like you've never seen. It's like some mafia thing. Like Harvey pulls this briefcase out and then they pull your headshot and she turns it around to the contestants and then she puts it in a paper shredder. Have you ever? And then she'd be like, you're dismissed. And then Harvey, he's like, it's about time. I'm a missile. I'm a torpedo, y'all. Out of here. Like, Harvey always speaks like there's just hate in his left eye. Only his left eye. I believe his heart is nice. And he doesn't want to, you know, hurt anybody in real life. But that left eye, something happened to Harvey. Right, the left eye. Down, sit down on it. Okay, what else? Oh, uh, we, we just... We, we want so, Takara to find love. Hopefully she'll find love in this. Um, Jennifer Hudson did. Go on, sit down on it. All right. So we know it can happen. And um, Trump Towers obviously is promoting this. Uh, this must be a Donald Trump special because every shot I see Trump Towers. And that's a new, new. New, 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 new. You know, uh, Takara came to um, Donald Trump and said, Please give me a show. I can make it interesting. And then he was like, but what have you done? Who are you? I'm Takara from Top Model. You know, Takara got the gift of gab. You see, she got her own show. I'm sit down on it. And she was like, I'm Takara. And she told everything she did. And she was like, I'm going to lose like 15 pounds, 20 pounds or something. However much you think I should lose, Mr. Trump. And we're going to pick like some C-list guys. And they're all going to be touching on me in the pool and stuff. Thought that sound like a good show to you, Mr. Trump? And then she put them big things in front of his face. And you know he's a weak guy for big things in his face. And she's doing like this. It don't make no difference what color the skin is. They're big things. And he was like. Yeah, you, 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 you can do a show when would you like to film. I got a crew out in the um, yard now. I'm going to sit down on it. Okay. Now, if you guys did see the show, definitely comment. Tell me who your favorite guy for Takara is. I thought it was Jason who he kissed and told. And no, the guy who was on the date with Takara before Jason, I really thought was a good match for her. So definitely comment and subscribe to my show, uh, Street Sense Booksmart. Uh, give me a like. The right down there, a like, and I'll see you guys next time. Love you, Boo Bears. Peace.